If you're anything like me, your interests in history kind of go through through different phases. I know for me personally, uh, I'll go through a Civil War phase, and then a World War One phase, and a World War II phase, and then maybe a phase with the Old West, or maybe uh, a phase where I want to learn more about the presidents. Well, right now, I am at the Gettysburg Museum of History, which has uh, an amazing collection of all kinds of different things related to the Civil War, World War II, World War I, and also the presidents, including a massive collection on JFK. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century, tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, proud of our ancient heritage, and unwilling to witness or permit the slow undoing of those human rights to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed today at home and around the world. Now, some might be looking at this video and thinking, what does JFK have to do with the Gettysburg battlefield? Well, the truth is that over the years, many presidents have paid visits to this place. Here's a picture of Woodrow Wilson. Uh, here is a signed picture of Richard Nixon. We also have Calvin Coolidge. Uh, here's one with a uh, mass of people, including uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower and his return to Gettysburg. He had deep ties to this place. Uh, here is Jimmy Carter. And in March of 1963, well, JFK himself paid a visit to Gettysburg. And uh, here are some photos of that event and also uh, you know, we can see a, a copy of the, the newspaper article uh, detailing JFK's tour of the battlefield. Well, here at the Gettysburg Museum of History, as I mentioned, they have the JFK room, which includes this amazing piece right here. This is one of my all-time favorite JFK artifacts that we have. You know, we have a large collection of, of Kennedy items here. Kennedy toured the battlefield in 1963, and um, we have other presidential items as well. But this is JFK's suit, and he wore this suit between 1955 and 1960. It was tailored for him by a, a tailor in New York, H. Harris, um, and it, it has a tag inside with their maker um, mark and also a tag inside with his name. And it says Senator John F. Kennedy, or J. F. Kennedy, I think it says on there. And it has the date of 1955. This suit um, was given to JFK's maid son. Her name was Provy. And the circumstance behind that was in 1960, Kennedy won the election in November, and for Christmas, the Kennedy family went down to their estate in Florida, and his, the, the family maid and some other staff went down there as well. And uh, Provy's son, Hector, he was going to college, and he was the first one in their family to be going to college, and he happened to be the exact same size as JFK. So he gave him the suit. He, you know, he needed a good suit to go to school in. Back then, people dressed up and they went to functions. And this is, of course, a fine suit, very, very expensive suit. And um, so, so he gave it to him. And another interesting thing about this suit was um, in the pocket, there was a note found. And that note said, Senator Johnson, Remember, this is when he was president-elect, so Johnson, Senator Johnson would have been his vice president. So it says, Senator Johnson wants you to call right away according to Mrs. Lincoln. Mrs. Lincoln was JFK's personal secretary. And so that note was 
taken by some somebody down there in Florida, and um, you know he it was handed to JFK, and he probably made a mental note of that, put it in the pocket, and in that pocket it stayed, and it it stayed in there. Um, the family kept it. Hector and Provy kept it. And uh, about 20 years ago, some of the items that were given to Provy and Hector were, were put up for auction, along with another Kennedy staff member. It was a big high-end auction, and, um, and and it was sold. It was, I, I believe, in 2003. And so uh, the, the two the two items were separated in the auction, which I find to be very curious. You know, usually with there's something like that with it, it stays with it. But it was two separate lots, but. Um, it, it, both items were purchased, so it, it, it stayed together. Um, there's also some paperwork down here from H. Harris. JFK used them not as his exclusive tailor or anything like that, but he did buy from them quite a bit, and there were some other items from them in his files when we got the, file, the JFK files here. Um, amazing piece of history. He wore it for five years, and it was obviously one of his favorite suits because there's lots of pictures of him wearing it, including a picture of him on some magazines, this TV guide, several press photos we have. He wore it on the campaign trail quite a bit in 1959-1960, so uh, photographed many times in this suit, and uh, what an amazing piece of history. It's one of maybe just a few. I don't know how many are, are out there, but uh, I've never seen too many of them. I, I think there's maybe one other one, and uh, the JFK Library, of course, has a bunch of them, but there, there just aren't that many of them out there. But to think that he wore that for five years and on the campaign trail and everything, and, and you know, the, the, the generous gifting it to, to his maid son so he, he would have a nice, sharp suit for college. Amazing piece of history. All right, well, uh, I have to confess, I have been in this museum uh, quite a few times now. Uh, I did not know the entire story behind this suit. That, that's actually a, a really cool story. Uh, and also another reason why anytime you are in Gettysburg, you should stop by here because you are always going to see something new. But yeah, really, really uh, amazing artifact uh, from John F. Kennedy.